I'm a critical care nephrologist. I, I spend probably half my time caring for patients in the ICU, usually with underlying kidney damage. I honestly think that if you go to most ICUs, uh, AKI is not picked up for at least 24 hours. There's an initial uh, insult to the kidney during which uh, the kidney tubular cells and glomerular cells are affected uh, before they actually stop functioning, before they die. And what a lot of us hope is that if we can intervene early during this initiation phase, we may be able to stop the progression to further injury. Up until recently, we've been kind of limited uh, in our ability uh, to identify patients uh, who will develop uh, kidney injury. But until we had some sign of the creatinine going up or urine output dropping, we couldn't truly identify the patients. If I knew that a patient had a pretty good uh, sensitivity that this patient was developing AKI, I believe I would be uh, very different in the way I manage it. I know a lot of docs say, oh, well, I treat all patients the same. I avoid all these things. But I can tell you in my own practice, I don't see that always happening. I see antibiotics misdosed based upon a serum creatinine, uh, which may be 0.8 today. And if you dose your antibiotic with that uh, GFR estimation, you would be wrong because, in fact, the GFR may be zero. And the next thing you know, they have elevated levels, which are now nephrotoxic. So if I get a, a nephrocheck test above 0.3, I know that that patient has probably a 1 in 4 to 1 in 3 chance of developing uh, AKI in the next 12 hours. I would be much more uh, diligent in the way I monitor him. And so I think having those biomarkers are important. We've been looking for a long time. And for 25 years, I've been saying, I only wish I had a biomarker. You know, those cardiologists, they don't just look at the EKG. Uh, they actually have biomarkers that are super sensitive. And outcomes change with those biomarkers even before we change our intervention. So just the recognition of somebody having an MI made us probably better doctors. And to me, I think that's one of the most important uh, uses of a biomarker. It will allow us to develop new uh, protocols to see if we can intervene and prevent progression.